Right. Vlog. Vlog. Yes. Um, shut the door. Uh, and take the jacket off. Um, just... <laughs> it was vape fest this weekend. Uh, and this camera seems awfully high. Low. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Right. Sorry, I've been playing with my new toys. Um, when was the last time I spoke to you? I can't remember now. Yeah, a while ago. Um, or a week and a bit ago. I never did a vlog before I went to Vape Fest. I thought I would just leave the week. Um, but um, things that have been happening. Yes, I've got a new car. Or an old car. I got rid of my, my Alteza. It went away uh, to a new home. Hopefully somebody's looking after it and giving it the love and attention that it deserves. Um, so I had a hole in the driveway for 20, 40 hours. And just... First time since I passed my test that I haven't owned a car. Killed me. Killed me. So I went out and bought an old barge. I went and bought an old BMW 530. Um, so I was putting a couple of bits and boy racer bits on it. Uh, yes, I was. So, um, and the f I got a splitter for the front, which doesn't fit, which is really annoying. But anyway, uh, now, vape vest. I went to Vape Fest, Vape Fest 2017 in Shrewsbury. Uh, I posted on my Facebook page last night, and and I'll I'll just echo what I said there, and, and that um, you could basically take away everything at Vape Fest. You could have one big field and just throw lots of you know lots of benches in there with a bar in the middle, and that for me would be Vape Fest at its core. Is, is just sitting about, chewing the fat, catching up with people that you haven't seen in ages and, and having a really good time. I, it's, from the social aspect, I, I, I it's my second vape fest and I absolutely adore it for the social side of things. I get to meet up and catch up with a lot of people and it's very, very good. It's very, very good in that respect. Um, for me, and, and as always, you know, as I say, it's as it says at the start of every video, that these are just my humble opinions. They may differ to you. Or, I mean, you might have found different things from Vape Fest or have different preconceptions and so on. But um, for me, it was quieter. I thought it was quieter this year. That could be because of the weather. I thought there was less vendor stalls and so on there than there were last year the the back end you know there's a back it, it was just empty i mean they had the food vans but there were stalls there last year as well and uh, there was none there this year um so that was to me to visually to me walking around it seemed to be quieter in that respect i don't know if that's just a kick off from you know tpd or or because people are going to the big expos and whatnot i don't know it didn't spoil it for me. I still enjoyed it, but it, yeah, it did seem to be quieter. The weather, that's nothing to do with the event. That's not the event's fault. It's not the organizer's fault. It was just shit weather. The Sunday wasn't quite so bad, but it wasn't the greatest of weather, which was a, a crying shame. But um, I also thought there was a... <laughs> I thought there was a good mix between hardware and juice. Yes, there were lots of vendors there selling juice. You'll, you'll never get away with that. But I thought there were more mod makers there this year than there were last year. There were more UK mod makers this year than there were last year. And that was really good to see. And uh, yes, but it wasn't a 50-50 split or anything like that. But it was it was good. I thought if you went looking you would find, you know, plenty of mod makers. Yes, there was Laddie Da mod makers there, the, there was expensive gear, budget gear, running the mill gear. There, there was gear there to suit everybody. Uh, and, and I'll, whilst the weather did spoil it a little bit, I'll still give it a thumbs up for the actual event. I did take the, in my head, I did take the piss a bit about the, the motorcycle display team and I thought, what a stupid idea for a vape event. I take that back. 
That was very, very good and very entertaining. And even seeing it a couple of times and the people that were walking around, the people that were there with their kids, they loved it. And and the, the two guys in the bikes and uh, Paddy McGuinness that was doing the... No, it wasn't Paddy McGuinness, but I think he thought he was. He was very, very good. It was a, a good display. Um, and then you had my phone, which wasn't on silent. Put it on silent now. Um... Then you had the uh, the guys that were doing the the, the graffiti uh, beside well underneath the pavilion. Uh, that was really smart. That was very very smart. Um, I didn't know what it said. Vape fest. Uh, I, somebody had to help me with that one. I really couldn't read it. <laughs> I'm just old. <laughs> um, but you put it like this: if you go to have a good time, you will have a good time. Uh, if you're expecting somebody to make you have a good time, uh, then, you, then you're pure up shit creek, you know. Um, go talk to people, mingle, and you'll have good fun. I did, um, and, and I can't take that away from it. Um, I didn't need to go back the second day. I didn't need to go back the second day. I think, I think actually, well, the train journey was, I think it was only five hours. Um... Went down the Friday night, drinks, um, meal, show the next day, the next night, drinks, eat. It went to the boathouse both nights, which was fantastic. It was really, really good. Uh, and the Saturday night was a great laugh. Uh, got, I'll get to the people in a minute. Uh, and yes, the, the whole I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the people side of things, I met, I caught up with people I have not met before, which it's the best thing. It's the best thing about Vape Fest is is just meeting people, um, people I haven't seen since last year that I met for the first time. You know, I've only seen them for like ten minutes over two years, but it's been brilliant. Um, Say who you are when you go to an event. No matter how much of a fan you feel like, um, say who you are. And I'm not just talking about saying to me, but uh, like I have to say to people, I am Todd. Because not everybody's bored, sits in their bedroom or their bathroom and watches me waffle on about shite. Uh, so, you introduce yourself. <laughs> Mr Higgins, you especially. He'll never watch this. Um... We were standing at the, it was the raffle, it was 48 or 49 prize. the prizes were tremendous. The amount of, each prize was like a bit of squonk beer, squonk beer, squonk gear even. Um, but uh, John Martin was up in the pavilion doing his uh, I want to be a comedian routine. Um, he did it very well. Uh, if he'd done that routine in Glasgow, he would have got the shit kicked out of him for being so cheeky. But it was funny, it was funny. Uh, but ever, there were so, so many good prizes. There really was. But anyway, it was towards the end and this guy came up and uh, poked me in the ribs, smiled and blithered away to him for five, ten minutes. Um, really nice guy. Thought he was really funny because uh, just his, his patter, his banter was good. So anyway, I went into the Safer Vapors tent ten minutes later and somebody came up and said, Have you met Frank? No, I didn't know. No, not met Frank. Come on, come on, come on, come, on, come meet Frank. Go up to shake this guy's hand. It's Frank Higgins. I've just been talking to him for ten minutes outside. I didn't know it was him. So, always introduce yourself. I never introduced myself to him. Okay, there we go. So, what are the chances? Two Scotsmen in a field in the middle of nowhere. Having a bit of a laugh. Right. Um... The, no, I don't want to start naming names. I just to everybody, to the guys that I went down to, the the three marks and the Russell. Uh, actually, that was like the Russell, Russell's from Glasgow, uh, and the three marks, including myself, we were the translation team for Russell. Um, I'll get a kick in the balls for saying that at a later date. Uh, no, it was a good trip down. Uh, great bunch of guys. Um, Yes, the the social aspect was two thumbs up. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'll leave it at that. Yeah, best that I do. Best that I do.
Now, what did I come away with? Um, no, see, there's people I want to mention. Oh. But if I start talking about somebody, then I'll forget somebody and, and I'll feel like a dick later. I'll publish this and then I'll go, ah, I never mentioned such and such. Um, bollocks. Yes, I love you all. Uh, now, what did I take down with me? I went to a vape, a vape event and I made the decision that I wasn't going to take, even though I own uh, gear that uh, belonged to some of the mod makers that were down there, I decided not to take. I'm actually quite low. I'll put the chair up. It's like bloody... Dean's been sitting in my chair. Is that better? There we go. Um, oh, speaking of Dean, uh, Dean, Vaping Biker and Vicky were there. Love them. Um, what did I do with it? Oh, um, ah, now, <laughs> he's a cock. Um, we joke about uh, the fact that uh, I really need to, uh, I, you know, he's trying to break the American audience, uh, get his subs up, get the 100,000, he'll do it. He's a cock, he'll get there. Um, but uh, I wanted to uh, build mine up, so I thought I should get tattoos. And um, when I got down to me, I caught up with Dean. And um, look at that. You like my sleeve? Do you like my sleeve? How cool is that? Yes. Uh, and so now I just need to get. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, I just need the beer. Is it like that? So, yeah, there we go. And I don't, Dean says I look like the fat kid from Up when I do that. Maybe I do, just a little bit. Anyway, when I got home, uh, I had this on, I put it on before Karen picked me up from the train station. And I put my bag in the kitchen and I came through and I said, you'll never guess what was there. She said, what? I said, a tattoo van. And I took my jacket off and, had, and I had like a watch there so you couldn't see the... I seriously, I thought she was going to burst into tears. She was horrified. Um, so, once again, I just blame Dean for that. But, there we go. Uh, now, stay. Um, I'm still too low. There we go. What did I take with me? Right, vaping gear I took with me. That's where I was, wasn't I? Um, because there's mod makers, there's uh, like the... The KO by uh, Chris Scott, I just reviewed that. Uh, you know, I've got the runts, I could have taken the runts down, met the runt guys, Austin, Dave and Paul, uh, great guys. Paul's a fanny, but um, uh, yeah, really nice guys. Uh, I didn't take any of that gear down because I just, yeah, it's strange. I said this before and I just feel awkward. So. I took my vape droids down with me because, uh, you know, dual 26650, well, 26650 mods, uh, good battery life. I took down the Pico V2 and I took down the tank thing and and, and they were great. Um, and I vaped, what did I vape? Oh, I vaped um, one of these. Um, this is a six milligram. I vaped uh, nearly all of the three milligram and funnily enough, I ended up and, and didn't realise, yeah, well, um, the vape droid guys were there, they actually turned up, uh, and he stole my juice. Well, they didn't steal it, I gave it to him. I had some left and he needed some. Uh, but that's the gear that I took. The gear I came home with, um, the only gear I wanted to buy, there. I, I don't know why, in my head, I thought Anthony was going to be there from Elemental um, and I was sure that I'd read he was going to be bringing his, a squonker with him and I've not seen photos or anything like that I don't know what it's going to look like or what battery it is I don't know anything about it but it's the one thing that I, I took money down with me just in case and, and he wasn't there <laughs> so um, that, that, so that was me. Um, but, however, I did come home with... Um, now... 
this company. They do the the zipper. Now I, I have to say that this I, I really I really like this little zip thing going down here. Yes, it's a 3D printed squonk mechanical mod, um, but it's a nice little squonker. It's actually done very well. Uh, but the thing that gets me about it is, first it puts the Mod Maker 510 Mod Maker bottle, and uh, it's got a nice little throw on it. Um, I've got my resurrection on there just now, my resurrection review. I, I ran out of ran out of words there, so that uh, yeah, resurrection V2. Um, but this comes with. Including this button, three buttons, two beauty rings, a spanner, a battery wrap, um, a sleeve to put inside the battery wrap so that you can have different colours shown through here. You just rotate the battery to whatever, how your mood takes you. Uh, it's presented so, so well. I think, I think it's about £120. I could be wrong. Um, but... As a package, it's the best I've seen for a 3D printed squonker yet. It's the best I've seen. Just the accessories that come with it. I love that aspect to it. Um, I will try and get a review for this done because I, I, I think it kind of deserves it. I really do. Smart. Smart. Just... And there we go. Right. I also came away with um Jan. Jan. <laughs> uh, Echo. Echo Mods. Now Jan from uh, Echo Mods. I have been in conversations with that guy since the beginning of the year. He got in touch with me, said that is, I think I've told you this. He sent me photos of the mod he was working on and and right up until Vape Fest we've just been blethering away. I could, can't afford to buy one of his mods. Um, I couldn't afford to buy one. Uh, I didn't. He didn't offer for one to review. It was nothing like that. It was just I really enjoyed watching his process of building the mod from scratch. I really enjoyed being involved in that. That 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 was amazing. Uh, so, but he was at Vape Fest, and yeah. Um, this is the smooth. By Echo, Echo Mods. That's the the Haku on top. Haku. It sounds like a coo, a coo, a cow. Haku. Um, this this is this is very nice. This is very nice. It's got the die codes board inside it, and it's not perfect. There's a couple of things I don't like about it. Um, the I, I I forgot to pick up a ribbon for mine, so I've just got a bit of tape around the battery just now, just to pull it in and out. But getting the bottle in and out is a bit of a pain in the backside, so I tend to use the you know like the mod maker filler. Um, that's that's all I've got for you just now. I've only had it for like 24 hours, but to vape with it's 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 good. It's comfy, comfy, open, just, no, non-Scottish, non-Scottish people will not get that joke, I'm really sorry. So, I shall, uh, yes, there will be a review for this coming down the line, I think, I don't know how many he's got left, uh, I think he's only made 40, he's not making any more. He's not making any more, so this is serious laddie da shit. Um, and yes, you can fire hate at me now for having one and for showing you one, and you can complain about the price to your heart's content. Because uh, I don't listen. I, I don't. Uh, so that that was that. Um, Ollie gave me a a, a box of these, uh, which uh, you know. 
isopropylene wipes, um, you know, when you go to a vapor vent, you know, it's the, it's the one thing you do not expect to be given when you're there. But um, Ollie, thank you very much. <laughs> In a pub, getting drunk, and somebody hands you a box of wipes. Strange one. Um, now, now, where will we go next? Oh, I did also. T oh, wait a minute, I've done with it. I did take down my. Uh, by Shally Manufacturing, the, I've forgotten the name, the Phalanx, the Phalanx DNA 250, big LiPo battery inside it. Um, and on that I had my, which I've still not taken out the little baggie, my Gillette V2. I'll put that there just now. I will not, I will not start buggering about with it. It's not the thing to do. I'll put that back up here in its place. There we go. Um, That's it. That's it for the gear. That's all I came back with, I think. Actually, no, I came back with a, an RDA from H-Stone, which I can't find. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I've lost it. I think it's in my bag or something, but I really can't find it. <laughs> um, so, now that might be a bit awkward having to explain that one. Um, Right, let's let's go left to right. Let's actually let's let's not let's um what was I gonna talk about? Oh I also get and I can't forget the name of the guy now. Uh, but these just arrived and I wish people would put notes in with uh, their gear when they send it on. <sighs> it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me. This Do you remember many moons ago I did a, a video, it was a guy that had made a mod and the mod was getting sent round all these vape reviewers to show off to raise awareness for a charity for children. Well, the guy that made the mod has made drip tips. Now, basically, this drip tip, you can buy the drip tip, uh, but you can configure it and buy accessories for it and, and do what the hell you like with it. Uh, I've, I've not opened it. This is me just opening it for the first time. But... And this probably isn't the best. This isn't the best place to do it. I won't do it. Uh, but I will get back to this. This guy with the drip tips. Uh, I also want to put a shout out to Rusko uh, from Abstract. Um, I don't know. Can you see my my drippy tippy standy here? I I did post a a video up on my Facebook page and Instagram uh, showing this drip tip standoff. So that's me. Got all my. It's, it's nearly all Cyan Mod drip tips. Um, so I've got them all lined up there. All nice and pretty. Uh, and I also met Barry and his lovely lady uh, at Vapefest. Barry, the, the the guy that did this. Uh, his link for his sites in my, every YouTube description now. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, what? Oh. Just uh, this guy. This guy gave me some juice. I've not tasted it, but I just wanted to say he's a fanny. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not. I just wanted to say he was a fanny because he's. Um, and I got this stuff as well. I ended up talking to this guy, and I think he, he said this is like a, a tangerine dream type e liquid. I think the guy's just starting his website. Um, but that's the name of the liquid. But I can tell you that if you like uh, tangerines, uh, this is an absolutely gorgeous liquid. I really enjoyed it. When I told them that I wasn't accepting it, and because I don't do juice reviews, I said, no, thank you. I said, it tastes lovely, but don't give it to me because I don't do juice reviews. <laughs> he went, well, fake you then. Took it back. Uh, but then he handed it back to me. So, but I've just, that's me. I've done my shout out. Um, yes. And let's get to vape gear. Now, things that have arrived that you may be interested in. Uh, this arrived. I've not even opened it yet. I know, I, I think Dean got his last week. But mine's arrived when I was away. It's the, from Funky. It's the Funky 160. Um, get out the box. Uh,
<laughs> uh, sorry, ah, it's just a funky 160 apparently. Um, let's have a gander at that. How retro, eh? How retro is that? I mean, that's going back some. Uh, it's. Is it resin doors? Yeah, it feels like resin doors. They sent me a spare set of doors as well. Uh, but, but that's quite nice, that actually. Julie 1865. Do you know, this doesn't actually feel shit. And I do actually quite like the, the styling on it because it just reminds me of old stuff. It, it does feel very, very retro. Uh, when I say retro, a couple of years old. What's that shite on the button? There's gunk all over the button, apparently. Um, yeah, so that arrived. Um, I did agree to do a review for this, did I? I can't remember. No, I really can't remember. But I'll show it off to you either way. Uh, also, um, what arrived now? Yes, stuff arrived this morning. Um, that I can't actually remember agreeing to. This one uh, I did, as always, with the, with the Tofu because... I like the Watofo guys, I like what they did last year, um, the year before actually, uh, and so, yeah. Still didn't get the RAM squonker. It was a bit, if I was miffed about not getting any better review gear, it was the RAM squonker, because I had high hopes for that, because it was a budget squonker, uh, a wooden squonker, uh, but um, you never know, it might turn up, or somebody that knows what they're doing may get it and do a proper review for you. Um, speaking of proper reviews, I did meet Scott Bonner, which was just awesome as always. That guy is just, he's the daddy, he really is the daddy. Uh, I get your 69, for if what, for whatever reason you aren't subscribed, go and say, ah, oh, no, tell me you haven't. So there we go, this is the flow by Watofo. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just a sub ohm tank. Um, I've got a horrible feeling that big white thing in there is meant to be the reducer that takes it down to a 2 mil capacity. It is. It is. Uh, so we might as well just sort that out right now. Does this pop out? It'll have to pop out. It will. Give me a knife. Uh, Sorry, I'll, I'll try and do this without breaking anything. Ooh, there we go. So that's what they've done. They've put a, a reducer around the top here. And that just peels off, no problem at all. And we'll put the whole thing back together. I seem to have just broken the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at band camp. Um, let's put some e-liquid on the o-rings before we try putting uh, the tank back together. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I've not been vaping long. I'm new to this. Um, I I'm really not used to this kind of stuff. Just, what a fucking... What a ball bag. A total ball bag. Uh, right, let's just pop this back in here. That screws in there like so. Am I doing this right? Yes, I am. Okay, let's put the tank back on. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll fill this up just now uh, and we can see what happens. Hopefully get a vape out of it before I finish the vlog. Can't see the coil. Must be a vertical coil. Um, put that back down there like that. So there we go. There's the flow by Watofo. Uh, let's just open up this airflow. Can I open up the airflow? Yes, I can. Oh, it's um, it's a lung hit. Don't get. But it has got a nice restriction to it as well. There we go. Uh, right. Remind me if I forget. Remind me to vape that before before we finish. Uh, I better get rid of this broken glass now. I can't believe I broke that glass. But uh, being the consummate professional that I am, I shall edit that out so you'll never know that I broke the glass on the tank. I'll forget to edit it out. 
I really will. Um, now, what else? What's in the bag? Um, hot sig. Why? I don't know why hot sig sent me stuff again. Hot sig sent me the R two three three. I've got absolutely no idea what it is. It's a Jule eighteen six fifty. Yeah, again. You fancy a gander? Fancy? A, is it a new one? Is the is this just out or? I've absolutely no idea. Um, and that's the thing. I've, I've, I'm saying no to nearly everything now because I've, I've got too much in my review queue and I don't want to get trapped in this constant stream of Oh no! <laughs> I can't review, I can't, oh no! Right, here we go. Oh here yeah, actually, that doesn't feel too bad. Yes! You saw it here first boys and girls. Wait a minute. Mm, I know, yeah. Um, so it's got that on one side and that on the other. Um, do these panel, the panels come off? I'm pretty sure because they sent me other panels on. It's a Jewel 18650. It's, um, oh they're just plastic. Uh, potentiometer on the front. I've absolutely no idea what the voltage range is or anything like that at all. I don't know if it's just out or if it's been out for months, but now you've seen it. Now you've seen it. Pop that back in there. Pop this in a special place. Uh, um, I did get... Uh, what else did I get? Digiflavor sent me the Aura. Aura? Aura. R-D-A. I don't know if this is a new thing either. I don't know if I, I never agreed. Did I never agree to this? I really didn't. Um, stop sending me stuff. Let's give you a quick look at this. Oh no, hang on. I may have agreed to this because it kind of, yeah, I was kind of curious about this. Now that's a drip tip and a half that. Uh, look at the size. Um right, let's let's have a quick look in here. It's got the uh, an an ultim base. Look. Um how in the hell does that work? Okay, that's that off. I'm pretty sure they said it came with a squonk pin as well. Um no, hang on. Ah, no, this is, um, ah, uh, what's his name? You know his name. Little guy, does videos, people like him. Um, <laughs> I'm only kidding, Daniel. Uh, was this not the one that Daniel designed? Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Daniel designed. Oh, good for you, mate, it's not got your name plastered all over it. That's, that's refreshing to see. Um, so, oh, okay, so we've got under, ah, we've got under airflow coming bang up there, which it looks like you cannot adjust. That sucks a bit. Uh, it has side airflow as well, which we can switch off. Oh no, I'm, see, I'm absolutely bloody wrong. You can adjust the bottom airflow as well. So I can tighten this right off. I can get a really tight direct lung hit off that. Oh. I'm a bit curious why they've got the Ultum base on it though. Does that come off? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't try. Maybe I should. The way I'm going, I should leave it alone. I'm breaking everything today. Uh, right, stop there. Leave it alone. Put it back in the box. Don't play with it. Review it when you can. Um, did I get anything else in the box that may interest you? Um, no, I think that was it. I actually tell a lie. The Centaur RTA by Hotseg. They set up the... Do you want to see it? Do you? Huh? Let's have a look. I have absolutely no idea. Let's say I didn't agree to the... It's 
sounds really miserable, don't it? I mean, some people would love to get free stuff, uh, but it's if you get something free, the amount of time that goes in, you know, if you do review it, the amount of time that goes into bloody doing a review, it's not like a, you know, a video may be 10 minutes long, but it's not like you only spend 10 minutes doing it. Uh, oh my god, is this not a troll? It looks like the troll or the Watofo, doesn't it? With the... What is it they call it? The GTA? GTA or whatever it is? The... Oh, plenty of air. Let's have a look at the deck. Try not to break the glass. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky little monkeys. Eh? Christ, they all get in that little bandwagon. They can't help themselves. Look at the deck on this. See? Side airflow again. Posts there, slip the wire into. It's a variation, uh, but it's, um, yeah, that's quite the. Uh, oh, it's got a nice dome chamber in there, though. But that's, that's. Yeah? They're all copying one another's homework over there. They really are. Um, right, enough of that. Let's stop uh, before I just get really fed up. Uh, now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to find in here. Has anybody seen my batteries? Oh, there we go. Right, uh, review gear. A lot of review gear coming up. Uh, lots of stuff to review. Uh, itchy ear. Um, what did I do with the resin? Did you see where it went? It's not in the box. Oh, there it is. Uh, right, now what side do I put the batteries in? Not that side, but that side. Right, let's fire up the funky. The funky 160. I tell you what, uh, I was uh, in the Zap Wraps tent. Uh, now I'm no, I'm not a huge You'll never really see me reviewing Wismic and all that kind of gear and whatnot, usually. But um, I was in the Zap Wraps tape tent and... Why is this not going in? I'm bending it. Oops. So upside down. Have I done this wrong? No, I've not. Ah, it goes in it. Ah, there we go. <gasps> oh my god, this is going back. Uh, I was in the Zap Wraps tent and uh, Dave and he was showing me the... The, the the latest Relo, the three battery one, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. I have no idea how they managed to get three 18650 batteries into that thing. Uh, I was well impressed. Well impressed. My God, that's got a long 20, uh, 510 pin on it. This flow tank. Oh, that's strange. Look at that. Can you see how that's just peeking over the front there? Um, what the what the uh, what diameter is this tank? I'm sure Dean said this already. So twenty-four. Oh no, actually that's hard to tell because that's coming out at twenty-four point two two. No, we'll wait and see. Right, uh, let's. This is a new coil. Yes, it is. Can I put the wattage down? Yes, I can. I'm in power mode. That. Do you know that isn't an offensive looking bit of gear? The menu looks a bit um, clunky. Well, it looks like something we've seen before a hundred times. But all the required information is there. That's not bad. Wasn't expecting that to taste as good as that straight away. Did I tell you I got my goose juice back again? I got a new I got a new batch of goose juice. Well chuffed. Um, that's not bad. 
Uh, right, reviews. I've, I've run out of things to say. I've got a feeling. I got. Um, have, I, have I come across as bored today? I'm really sorry if I have. Um, I just. I think I've come down off of vape fest, and the fact that the bit isn't fitting in my car. I think it's got me in a downer. So I'm sorry if I came across as a, as, as a miserable git. Uh, I really am. Um, right. Uh, um, uh, John Haywood, EVL, what are you wanting? Are you doing a waffle this week? A waffle? Uh, I am recording my vlog just now. There we go, just, sorry, just a bit of live interaction there. Uh, I think the speeder, the, Cro the speeder by Aspire and the Chroma will be the next reviews out. Uh, the speeder, I'm going to give a thumbs up. I like it. The only thing, issue I have with it is, and I'm giving away before I do the review, is the door. It reminds me of the cuboid. It, it's just, um, yeah. Did you, if you ever had the cuboid, remember you used to put batteries in it sometimes, and depending on the wrap that you had on it, it might not make contact. Uh, well, I, I do worry about that having the same kind of issue. Um, it's the only thing I'm... I think the menu system in the mod's brilliant. It's just the door that kind of... worries me a little bit. Worries me. Um, oh, this came in since the last time I saw you. Uh, oh, and this... I met uh, Bradley, uh, or Bob, uh, that makes that, and awfully nice guy. Off of this guy. Um, so, review coming for that. But uh, this arrived from Vape Geek as well. That's the diamond. Look at the angles on it. Well, you get where they get the diamond from. It's quite smart. But it's uh, it's it's a bit bigger than your some of the other 3D mix honkers out there. But you can see that look at the thickness of this here this is a chunky monkey uh, just in the, the thickness of the walls and you can feel it when you're holding it but it's, it's kind of well yeah it's well screwed together the, uh, let me look something up here uh, let me look so I apologize uh, vape geek now the shop yes I'm 18 Shop, shop, bottom feeders. Now, they also sent on the, the H24 bottom feeder RDA by no name and avatar. That's what this is up the top. Now, this is 70 pounds. It's 316 stainless steel, but it's got a Delrin cap. That's a Delrin cap on there. I can squeeze that, so that that's just a bit of delrin. Uh, but look at the look at the deck. Look, that's like is that not like a blast from the past? Did I moan about this last time? I might have moaned about this last time, but it just don't get me wrong. The flavour of it's not too bad, but it just I don't know. Not impressed. I really like the squonker though. Really like the squonker. Um, lots of stuff to review. Boring. Yeah, it's all boring stuff. You'll just yes. Uh, it's not boring. Except when we might use the. <laughs> cock. <laughs> Don't buy anything from EVL. Um, he may make a tank that gives excellent flavour from it and the occasional really beautiful drip tip but the man's a fanny uh, actually there is what he's saying is uh, John's going to run a competition I don't know what for uh, he might use a guess the length of your video as a competition um, which will hopefully send more people to my channel here's something for your this is it John is a ball bag there's your timestamp, so whoever enters into whatever competition he's doing, that probably will be what he uses. John's a ball bag. 
Um, key phrase, John is a ball bag. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Reviews. What have I, I've, I did lots of reviews. I did, I'll tell you, I got more thumbs down. Well, I mean, I know I don't worry about thumbs down in a video. It really doesn't matter. But it was quite surprising that I got so many thumbs down on my pipe. I love my pipe. Look, there. Uh, my boo. It's awesome, but lots of people really didn't like it. Well, a handful. But I was a bit disappointed because I get so much fun out of actually vaping with it. Um... Right, I'm going to go because I've actually got to tidy up the mess in here, get some work done. I've got to get my gear ready. I'm heading through to Oban um, again this week. To, uh, got to go head through. Sadly, my mum and dad's dog passed away, uh, 15 years old, Bracken. Um, he's a head case, but uh, he passed away, so they're a bit down in the dumps, understandably so. So I'm going to head through for a couple of days this week and catch up. Um, I'll try and get as many reviews done as I can before I head off. Uh, but listen, I I'm sorry I'm a bit old of her, her, her. All over the shop here, it's been a strange weekend, a very, very strange day, and I'm just tired and possibly got some alcohol still in my system. To everybody. And I mean everybody. I mean, you know, Iman, Ian, Frape, you know, Frank, Damien, Nicola, Dean, Vic, yeah, I can go on and on and on and on and on, all the people. Um, thank you for making Vape Fest what it was, meeting you, because that's what you go to these things for, it's the social side, it's just brilliant. Um, I, and that's it, I'm going, I'm going to push the button now before I start going off on another tangent. Bye bye!